Guys, look who I have in the craft basement. It's my mommy. The ultimate crafter. The one who got me started crafting. We got a little special project going on. For this video, we're making money bouquets. It's an idea that my mom came up with as a gift to honor the more seasoned women in her women's ministry. Now, we did $50 gift bouquets. These are the denominations we use. Feel free to use whatever you want. I'm shooting it over to my mom. Take it away, mom. You want the dark side of the dollar down face. We're gonna make a rose out of the dollar. You put the dowel in the center and a piece of tape over it to hold it to the dollar bill, okay? Then you put a small piece, very small piece of double-sided tape on each corner of the dollar. Okay. And then you're gonna fold it, but not crease it, diagonally up to the dial and press it down. Okay, but we're not creasing the corners. No. I got you. So you just wanna, that, that, you just uh, wanna get it up to the to the top and make that triangle. Okay. And then you I put, like a butterfly right now. Right now, you could do two sides and make a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Then you put one piece of double-sided tape on either side. Uh, one side of the do of the dollar. Mm -hmm. Try See? not to, to press it down. Gotcha. And then you go in and you take the insides of both corners. Mm -hmm. You can get it. And bring them together. I see. And that piece of double-sided tape holds it. Holds it together and you want to thin it out so you have a nice looking rose. Love it. Love it. Kind of spin it around so the people can see. See, and then it's adhered to the stick and okay. it's adhered to each other. Yes. Awesome. Now we're going to do a double rose. Mm -hmm. So the, the next dollar, you won't put on the dowel, but you do the exact same thing. But you'll put this time it up a, little bit. a little piece of double sided tape. Mm hmm. On each corner with the dark side down. Mm -hmm. So this one does not have, it's a not doll. on a doll. No, mm -hmm. it's just a freestanding rose. And you'll see what we're going to do with it. And you take each corner up to the center of mm -hmm. the dollar, just like you did on the doll, mm -hmm. and make your rose. Sometimes it doesn't want to stick, but you just have to. Press it. Press, press, press. And you may have some glue tabs you might want to use. Uh, your glue circles instead of tape. But mm -hmm. this is double-sided tape. Then you put one piece of tape. doesn't have to be a lot. On one side of the rows. Mm -hmm. And see, it wants to come up sometimes, but you just have to be careful. Not to crease it mm -hmm. and try to get this one from the inside on to, to adhere to this one. Mm -hmm. To give you the point. The point. You could always put another piece of tape over the center um, to make sure that yeah, it stays. Yeah, we've done that before. Put a piece of tape. Show them where, the, where we would put a piece of tape. We did that once. Put a piece of tape. Right over the center, them two pieces that you brought together to make sure they stay. So you'll have your row, have your rows. Mm -hmm. There so you go. That seems secure. Then I, now let's stop. Well, now why explain to them why we're not using high glue? Because this money needs to be spendable. Yeah, we. It's a and gift. And so it's a gift, and they can easily peel the tape off, and uh, money that's folded or taped, they can get that off. Then you slide it up the dial on top of the $1 bill you have. Pretty. And then we have taken the end of the uh, silk roses, mm -hmm. a leaf. Mm -hmm. and that rubber part really needs to come off. If your dowels are thinner, you might could leave it on. But if it's not, and the hole is not real big, but you just work that dial into that hole. Mm -hmm. We're trying to cover up the bottom of the rows and also make the second row stay on. So you just work it as this mm -hmm. fabric. 
See that one sliding down. We want to get it up there really good. And if it does slide down, you can put a little tape. Put if a you little need tape to. there. But if you do this, it kind of helps do it. So when you put it in the vase, you'll have greenery on your money roses also. Very nice. So are you having fun in the craft basement? Absolutely. All right, Mom. Remembering what I taught you. That's right. Now, <laughs> so we got all the flowers done, right, Mom? The money flowers. The money flowers are all done. And now we're going to put them in the vases. The roses oh, and we cut all the roses off. And we have baby's breath and ribbon and bling to add as we need. So now we have a vase. You can use any vase. But we just had these vases. Actually, she found these. You found these, what, in your garage, Mom? Yes. Okay. We have some. From a uh, project a few years ago. From a project a few years ago. Um, we have some of the little um, plastic, like, filler, vase filler. Just to give it a little weight at the bottom. If you wanted more weight, we you can put more in there. Okay, she already says she wants to put some more in there. Now I have our foam, and what we're gonna do is wrap the foam in two pieces of tissue paper. And then you're gonna wrap, place your foam in the middle, and you're gonna wrap the foam up around, I mean, wrap the paper up around the foam. And then that is gonna go inside your base. Let's see how that looks. Okay, as you can see here, I just kind of grabbed it at the bottom. I don't like the top to touch the top too much to keep it nice and crisp. And then we're just gonna stuff this down into the base, all the way down to the bottom. Now you're going to stick your um, flowers, stick the poles down into the foam of the vase. Um, so when my mom and I were starting to plan out, we wanted everything to look symmetry. So we came up with this layout. You're going to start with your tallest stick and put it in the middle. Then you're going to go to the sides, up and down, and then hit the four corners. From there, you just fill in as it feels pretty to you, as my mom is doing here. All right, uh, mom, this is your finished product. Tell us about the last finishing details. Well, we got the red and white beads in the bottom. We've got the tissue paper and we've got the flower roses and the uh, real flowers and top it off with a little bling bling trim instead of a bow. There you go. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and head to purplecraftdiva.com. Bye.